6.43 and a new survey from the National Alliance on Mental Illness is helping us understand the attitudes surrounding mood disorders in America. Now we're talking about depression, anxiety, bipolar disorder and more. And this week's Mind Matters, Michael Aaron talks one on one with the Chief Medical Officer of NAMI. Dr. Ken Duckworth is Chief Medical Officer for the National Alliance on Mental Illness, or NAMI. Dr. Duckworth, thank you so much for being here with us today. First off, for those who don't know, what is NAMI? The National Alliance on Mental Illness is the largest group of people who live with mental health conditions and those who love them in America. What is a mood disorder for those who don't know? Excellent question. So a mood disorder is not a bad day or a bad weekend. It's a sustained period of sadness with associated problems for depression. And uh, that depression coupled with a manic episode, which is days and days of super high energy and irritability without a need for sleep, is the definition of bipolar disorder. So these are very common conditions. The World Health Organization says that major depression is the number one cause of disability on planet Earth. So it's important to be able to recognize them and to get help for them. We decided to do a survey of 4,000 people uh, half of whom live with mental health conditions like mood disorders in particular, and those who love them. And we wanted to get their experience of how it was going during the pandemic. And what did that survey find? That survey found uh, that 75% of people who are in care for treatment feel that their mood disorder is under good control. A whole subset of people either couldn't figure out how to navigate the fragmented care, I have to call it a non-system, or they felt that they couldn't access care because they didn't have resources or insurance. So we continue to face real challenges in getting people into care, uh, but we also hear very clearly that care works. One of the best silver linings in this survey was the knowledge that telehealth is working for people, that people are using a video-enabled connection as we're doing now, or a phone session if they don't have the internet, works very well for people. So this is something, obviously, there's still a stigma attached to this. Why do people still stay, stay silent about mood disorders and, and not want to talk about this? We're making some progress. In the survey, we found more than half of people are more willing to talk about their mood disorders than they were before the pandemic. So that's some progress because these are ordinary, common human conditions. And unless we learn to deal with them, we're going to continue to have the rising rates of suicide and overdose deaths that we see in America. It's an ordinary health condition. We have to be able to talk about it. Anything else that you want our viewers to know as we wrap this up? I want you to know you are not alone. And if you reach out to NAMI, you will be greeted with love and support. And uh, you don't have to suffer with isolation. Uh, we can't make more therapists at NAMI. And we can't make the system work easy. Uh, we can't do advocacy. And we've seen a lot of advocacy, which you can learn about if you connect to your local NAMI. So thank you for taking an interest in this, and uh, I appreciate your coverage. Well, Dr. Ken Duckworth, the uh, Chief Medical Officer, National Alliance on Mental Illness, thanks so much for being here. And NAMI does have a chapter right here in Arkansas, and they are ready to help you. You can find the hotline number inside of that story online at THV11.com.